In this video, I'm going to be giving a quick walkthrough of the Brightcove media management system that we're going to be using on the new Metro News website. So as you can see here, I'm uh, on the Sportsline Shows page, and this player here is provided by Brightcove, and it is populated automatically based on videos that we've uploaded to Brightcove and assigned to, in this case, the Sportsline playlist. So let's go ahead and log into Brightcove and take a look. So go to brightcove.com. C-O-V-E dot com. Okay. Brings us to this page, which is their, kind of their home page. And up here is a customer sign-in link. We're going to click Video Cloud. Type in our account information. We'll have uh, multiple uh, login information for us to use, so I'll email that out to to all of you. So we can have multiple accounts. Okay, so this is our video cloud uh, homepage. Okay, you notice up the top we have a few uh, quick links to various sections. This is into our media section where we'll do uploading the videos and managing the playlists. Publishing section, that's uh, going to be more for the technical side. All that should be really set up. That's how you create your various players and style things, change colors, things like that. The advertising section, that's where you enable or disable ads uh, for various uh, players. So, for example, we wanted to turn off ads on the TalkLine video player for some reason. Uh, that's where we would control those type of settings. And we have uh, analytics section, so that's where we can see uh, traffic and performance of the various videos. So let's go ahead and go to the media section. Up the screen. my first time here today on this machine so uh, it's going to take a few seconds to load took a lot of seconds to load <laughs> There we go, great. So this is our video listing. See all the uh, videos that we've uploaded. And over here on the left, these are shortcuts to our various playlists. Um, so once we upload a video, we'll assign it to one of these playlists and that'll automatically make it show up in various places across the site. So the interface, we'll click uh, Add videos. It'll bring up a standard finder window. It might look different on a Windows machine. And you would select the video, click open. Select this. Okay. So one of the things whenever we're uploading a video that we want to do is we want to put in a short description and a long description. You don't have to do it on this screen, but it does have to have a description before you can use the video on the site. Once you upload it, it'll actually look, look like this. It'll have a deactivate icon if it doesn't have that description. That's required because uh, some of these uh, audio and video clips are going to be used uh, in iTunes, and iTunes requires those descriptions. So. For the sake of time, we're going to pretend that I just uploaded a video. So, gonna, so it'll show up like this and it'll be not active. So I'm going to hit edit. And this is where we will type in our short description and long description. Um, in some cases, that might be just the same thing. Uh, as you can see, that's what I've done here. We have a short description here and a long description. And you'll see that it is it's required for both. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay. Now that we've saved two descriptions, now I can click Activate. And that's essentially approving the video to be used on the site. Okay, and that went through because I have put in the descriptions. Now we want to add this video to a playlist. So we're going to click Add to Playlist. And this will give us a listing of all of our playlists like we have over here. In this case, we're looking at the Blitz. Let's see. 
outputs. Click save and close. Okay, and you'll see down here in the bottom corner it says one video has been added to the Blitz playlist. So if we wanted to double check that, we can just go over here. There it is. So this is our playlist. It's kind of a shortcut to the, to the playlist, and we can manage the items that have been added to this. As you can see, I just added this, and it was already in there. So we have, we have duplicates now. So I'm going to go ahead and take that back out. This is where we can also control the uh, order of the videos. So all right, I'll remove that one. So as you can see, this week 11 video is showing up in the third spot, which is not what we want. So we just hold down the mouse, drag it up to the top, and correct that. And that'll automatically save. Good to go. So one thing to keep in mind when you're working with Brightcove is uh, this is a, it's a large company. They have data centers all across the globe. And uh, they have a very complex caching system. So some of these changes may take up to five minutes for them to actually reflect on, on our site. Uh, it just depends on uh, the exact timing and whether or not, uh, and which part of the country you're in actually. So we'll take a quick look at some of the other sections just to give you an idea. This is our publishing section, so this is where you can see all the different players that we're using across the site. Um, you know, various country roads, widget, that's on the country, uh, the uh, outdoors page, I mean. Um, the Blitz player, that's what we were just working with. Um, skip the ads section, take a look at the analytics as well. And this is uh, similar to what you're used to with vMix. Um, you get stats for uh, number of plays, number of plays completed, uh, attention span, number of minutes viewed. Uh, so you can really get an idea of not only are people playing your video, but how long are they watching the video? Are they watching it to the end or are they losing interest 10 seconds in? Also get some analytics on uh, uh, the people that are watching, uh, geographic analytics, what type of browser they're using. These analytics will also be mirrored in our uh, Google Analytics for the site, but it's nice to know uh, you can get some details about the uh, people that are actually watching videos compared to just people that are reading articles. And you can control uh, the uh, date range for your uh, various graphs and statistics. Okay, so that is the Brightcove Video Cloud platform.